let's see how this goes. There's a lot of rain in the horizon. Might drop the barometer. Might get some fish active. It's actually super windy out here, so I highly doubt there'll be any action. So I've been pretty busy this last uh, two weeks. I've been putting on a video every Sunday for the past like month and a half. But I got pretty backed up. I was live painting at the RNC show today with the England Beer. I was live painting there yesterday. On Thursday, I was live painting at the Clevelander in South Beach, also with Ying Ling. So I've been doing a lot of artwork stuff. here in this corner might work in our favor maybe it might have the bait pushed up in here and that might be what we need to get some fish in this area because this area has been dry the last couple months Let me try switching up the fly Maybe something that pushes a little bit more water might get some action. If not, I'm gonna try that one next. That one looks pretty good. Let's see. Let the fly get wet first. I'm trying to let it get down in the water. I feel like something's nibbling on it. Something's definitely short struck it. Short struck it twice on that first cast. Let's see what it is. Maybe some ladyfish or something. But oftentimes when there's ladyfish, there's tarpon. So. Oh yep, tarpon. Just missed the tarpon on the bite. Just like that though, like I said, sometimes a fly, you just gotta change the fly up. Even though I had old Trusty on. Damn, that's a shame. Oh, he swiped it, missed it. All right, so this fly is clearly working much better. I've got two casts with it. First cast, I got two bites. Second cast, I had two more bites. Oh, they're swiping and missing it. There's a school of tarpon sitting right out there. I've seen him swipe it now three or four times. Just a bunch of uh, silver flashes. Let's see if I can get one. Lay these on. I actually caught a ladyfish. But like I said, when there's ladyfish, there's tarpon. Last time in one of my videos, I hooked a ladyfish and a snook came up and ate it. I'm sure you guys remember that. So those giant chrome flashes are definitely not this little ladyfish, but just a change, quick change of the fly has made a difference. Look at the colors on this little guy. Oh, get back in there. So maybe I've been trusting the black fly a little too much. And that's why I haven't caught anything out here in a while. Because I switched up to this little cockroach fly. And every cast has got bit. Those huge explosions on it were definitely also not ladyfish. And I saw some big, big silver flashes. Had to be like 20 pound tarpon. Huh. So after catching that one ladyfish, it's what, two, three casts now in a row without a single bite but before it I got hit every cast even multiple bites each cast for those I didn't let it sink I just dropped the fly and started ripping so let me try that again Slipper! <laughs> 
So we'll let it marinate a little bit. Not exactly sure why they uh, lowered our water level quite a bit. I mean, you can see it there inside the pipe. You can see the, the mark. It's about a foot, maybe a foot and a half lower than it was just two days ago. The water management district usually uh, controls it before big storms, but we don't really have any big storms on the radar. But we haven't really had much rain to begin with them to go and start dumping water out for no reason. Oh, I just got bit. What what I got? Something bit it on the fall. Not exactly sure what this is. Oh, big peacock. Oh, big peacock. He bit it on the fall. I just kind of let the fly sink out there, hoping for a, a snug laying low or a tarpon. But this peacock came up and ate it, which is strange. They don't, they don't often eat when the fly's not moving. Oh, he's digging deep now. Let's see if I can keep him on. This little five weight. It's a pretty big, pretty decent sized peacock. Oh, something just blew up on the shoreline over there. So it seems like the cockroach fly is working. I wasn't even stripping the fly and this uh, healthy peacock came up and ate it. It's a pretty good one. Just came up out of that pipe. Got it. Well, if y'all can see this is a good one, probably about three pounds. Let's get him back in the water. he goes so when I'm shooting these vlogging style videos or whatever you want to call it when I shoot these type of uh, chest mount videos I have a GoPro Hero 8 a GoPro Hero 9 and then I use a Nikon Z50 I like the Z50 because the screen folds down like so and I can see myself looking straight at the camera when I'm talking to it. I also have the Sony FX3 that I try to use for the more cinematic stuff. I had the red Komodo I recently sold and picked up the Sony FX3. To be quite honest, I think I like the FX3 better than the red Komodo for a lot of this outdoor content. The red Komodo just wasn't well suited for the occasion. It was much more difficult than it needed to be. Now in terms of the red, I do, I did also have the Red Raven before. So in terms of the red, yes, the Komodo is much easier and quicker to use and better for running gun than most reds or than every other red. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be easier or quicker or better to use than a mirrorless camera for our style of shooting, at least. I just had a, I don't know, it's either a ladyfish or a little, uh, little snook or something, but some fish were blowing up on the surface, dropped the fly on there, and it was long and shiny, and it ate the fly, but 
missed a hook set. Wasn't quite that big anyway to really get a hook in them. We got a pretty cool project coming up with a pretty cool brand. I can't really speak about it much because I signed an NDA, but I should be putting in a video June 17th about the project, so it should be pretty sweet. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, stay tuned, check it out. I'm pretty pumped about this project, it should be pretty good. A few of you guys mentioned that you want to see more art stuff. Let me know if you guys like the art stuff. If you want it to be strictly fishing, I am a fishing artist. That's why I get to fish all the time because fishing is my uh, inspiration for my paintings. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you want to see more art stuff mixed in with the fishing stuff or just fishing, just let me know and I will uh, keep doing that stuff. Also, let me know about the cameras. I have a lot of people asking me what cameras I use. Right now I'm shooting this on the Nikon Z50. It is my vlogger setup. I have uh, the Sony FX3, Nikon Z6. I just sold my red Komodo. Uh, I had the red Raven before that one. So uh, let me know what you guys think. If you want to see camera stuff, fishing stuff, art stuff, and we'll get this thing going. 